Hi, I'm Skipper Parvo. Welcome to the Slop Podcast. Each week, we'll interview trailblazing renegades challenging archaic archetypes and exploring alternative ideologies. In our ongoing dialogue about what it means to be an evolved human mammal, we'll color outside the lines of conventional science and medicine in pursuit of finding meaning in our present incarnation and unleashing our truest self. Today's guest is a good friend of both mine and Carl Lagerfeld's, Beatrice de Leon de Vivesueva. I love Carl Lagerfeld. He gave me an ostrich for my birthday this past year. I love ostriches. When an ostrich is running around your house, all you can think of is an ostrich is running around my house. Mm -hmm. So I know that these are very tough times for people that do not have an ostrich running around their house, um, but I do. So I can tell you with total security that I don't have any negative energy. If someone was to take that ostrich out of my house, I would go to the zoo and get a new ostrich. See, that's why I love talking to you, Beatrice, because most people have spirit animals, even if they don't know them, and you take it one step further and have a literal ostrich running around your home protecting you from negativity. That's, I'm a very old-fashioned person. Why, if you are going to have a spirit animal, have it in your spirit, have it in your house? Mm, I'm gonna have to trap a red-haired baby with blue eyes. Oh. It's a pleasure and a gift and a joy and an inspiration to have you here today, Beatrice. A liver of life, a self-proclaimed queen of nothing, who's here to talk to us today about finding meaning in the often ignored steps of living and cultivating life. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Or should I say gracia? It's so wonderful to be here. We like to start every session off with a 15 second meditation. Today's topic is urine chelation. I have few people that I aspire to be like because I'm so grounded in who I am and other people who look up to me, but I look to you and I'm wondering what you do to optimize your mind, body, and spirit. Um, so really when it comes to my own beauty regimen, I like to pretend as if in a 1980s kind of rom-com that I went to bed one day looking like Jennifer Lopez and the next morning I woke up like this. So then what do I do every day to start trying to look like the me I know I used to be, J-Lo? Um, mm. So, you know, be yourself, but make sure that yourself is someone that everyone will like and also will be beautiful and wearing all the right things. Mm. Yourself, um, but better. Yes, that's why actually I have to apologize. I have a small stain on my shirt. Well, I would have noticed it anyway, and so I admire your confidence pointing it out because it's not we're about humanity, that's but right. elevated. And mm -hmm. so it's nice, I found it be relatable, you know, to my listeners. And yeah. so it's a beautiful gift that you would share a stain with them. Every time we connect, you Bring me back to the basics that are the most luxurious given that I have forgotten. Can you talk a little bit about how social media is killing us, these apps we're relying on, you know, what people should be returning to? Yes, you know, I have a friend who reads the newspaper and he was telling me that these apps are so bad and he was telling me about the Uber. 
Uh, you know, you go in someone's dirty car. I don't know why people are going in a car, maybe to make friends in this car. Mm. Um, that is a bad way to do things. I am traditional, you know. I like to uh, do things the old way. Mm -hmm. Have a driver who I, he drives me everywhere I have to go. Christmas, that driver is driving me. You know, Easter, that driver is driving me. The day that he has his wife give birth to their children, he will be driving me and he will be telling me all about his wife right now is giving birth to the children. <laughs> and I just, there is a closeness there. There is a security. And that is just the old way of doing things. You put a pin in that and be back after a word from our sponsors. The mind, body, and spirit are intrinsically linked. Often, our mental health issues reveal themselves through physical manifestations and vice versa. For example, if you're not able to eliminate toxins from your body, you will not be able to eliminate toxins from your life. Constipation is scientifically linked to hoarding, which is why everyone here at SLOP is grateful to count Geronimo's organic kombucha as our partner here at SLOP, so we can keep our guts on the regular and ourselves off the latest season of hoarders. <laughs> Geronimo's organic kombucha regulates the gut, which feels like a lifeline for a gal on the go such as myself. My days are so packed. It is a relief to control the chaos and have my BM me time penciled in stone from 9.45 a.m. to 10.37 a.m. daily. The peace of mind doesn't stop at scheduling. Magic of Science Monthly recently released a study proving a daily jar of kombucha protects your microbiome and dramatically decreases risks and symptoms of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, aging, AIDS, anorexia, insecurity, insomnia, and a whole host of autoimmune disease. Geronimo's Organic Kombucha contains a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast packed with different antioxidants, antimicrobials, and bioactive compounds such as polyphenols, as well as 57 different probiotic strains. Now that I drink at least one Geronimo's Organic Kombucha per day, I can rest easy knowing that if my hands are shaking, it's only because I'm over-caffeinated. <laughs> Geronimo's story is one that resonates with all of us. After punching the clock for years on Wall Street, he lost the job he hated in the 2008 financial crisis, went to Bali to find himself, and was gifted a mother kombucha scoby by his Airbnb host. With a renewed sense of purpose and a contraband kombucha starter smuggled into his swell water bottle, he made a new life and home in Venice, California. Geronimo ferments his kombucha for 30 days in repurposed bathtubs rescued from architectural salvage yards and then brews all three of his all-natural organic strains in his very own kitchen before selling them Wednesday nights from the trunk of his vintage Safari Land Rover at the Brentwood Farmer's Market. Grit is my personal favorite flavor because the kick of cayenne makes me feel like a badass Venice biker chick. <laughs> As a fellow entrepreneur who launched dreams from a kitchen, many of you may recall the very first slop newsletter I sent out. It was from the breakfast nook of my Swiss chalet. I personally am thrilled to support a small business such as Geronimo's Organic Kombucha. Geronimo's Organic Kombucha. Cleanse your gut, cleanse your mind, cleanse your spirit. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Skipper, one of the things I love the most about you is that you do not own any pair of sweatpants. Oh, no. Because really, that is a sign that someone has given up on life. You know, they should just be trampled. That is what an elastic waste is saying. Trample me, leave me to the bears. I'm a hot dog, not a human. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, putting a pin in the sweatpants, that's the first question I ask my girlfriends. If their husband has left them, were you wearing sweatpants? That's and a good question. Or did a baby come out of your vagina? Mm. And usually the answer is yes, and you cannot that's blame them. That's a monster. Them. I don't care if that's the way we all came out into the world. That's a monster. We are monsters. Monsters. I mean, <laughs> I love my son. 
Navy Sebastian, but he really depleted me of the best parts of myself. There has to be a new fashion for how the people come into the world, you know? There has to be. I wish that you could grow them outside of your body. <sighs> you know, I was reading about an ancient culture that the first three months of a child's life, the mother doesn't even meet the baby. She's taken into recovery. It's a, you know, retreat of sorts for her to remember herself before her body was destroyed in that way. And when she's recuperated, she's reintroduced to the infant. I like that very much. That kind of reminds me of when someone has a crime committed against them and then they go to the jail and they meet that person after the crime, you know? Mm -hmm. Then they can decide, do I want to forgive you? You know, that's what I would want to say to the baby. You destroyed my vagina. Exactly, and it's up Are to you. you. Were you worth that? I am totally empty. And that's because you filled me up. I think I'm gonna have to go purge right now, as I'm sure many of our listeners will as well. Thank you so much for joining us, Beatrice. It was so wonderful to look at your face. Oh, it was wonderful to look at your aura and just mm -hmm. absorb it. Mm. I'm Skipper Parvo, and you just intoxicated your spirit with slop. If you liked what you heard, please rate, review, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you next week. I heard there is another app called the Blue Apron. What? I don't understand why anyone wears a Blue Apron, but they send you food in little plastic bags, and then you empty the bags, and then you cook it in your house. A pork <sighs> chop that goes from the plastic bag. You know, for me, if you want to have a pork chop, you must have a pork chop factory. You must have a pig farm, you know? Why would you eat meat from a plastic bag? I bought a photograph that you took of yourself slaughtering mm. one of your pigs. <laughs> And it was this commentary on society, you know, the selfie generation, but also the cooking of food in bags. And, you know, you had named that pig That's and right. he nourished you. Mm -hmm. And I have that photograph hanging yeah. in my guest bathroom. And it reminds me every time I wander down that way yeah. that life is precious and beautiful and it needs to be lived. It does, you know, and it was a good thing because if you're going to eat meat, you know, raise the meat, raise the meat. Yeah. I raised that pig, I killed that pig, I felt so bad, I ate that pig, I threw up that pig, but at least that was my pig. It was your pig, mm -hmm. you looked into his eyes and you knew mm -hmm. that he wasn't pumped full of hormones no, yeah. or chemicals, That's and right. he deserved to nourish you. Yes. Optimize your present incarnation and expand your soul weekly with Slop. Subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Skip.